안녕하세요. 외국인 선수들의 한국 축구 정착기 유즈 캐리거 시즌2 MC 이정현입니다. 어, 유즈 캐리거 시즌2 벌써 세 번째 선수를 만나볼 시간인데요. 오늘은 어떤 선수를 만날지 저희와 함께 만나러 가보시죠. 빨리 오세요. <웃음> 커피는 역시 믹스커피죠. 그렇지 않아요? 울산현대 팬분들? 네, 유트 캐리거 시즌2 그세 번째 주인공은요. 미켈 모겐스타 팔센 디스크루. 후, 줄여서 믹스 선수 만나보도록 하겠습니다. 하이 맥스. Hi, how you doing? Did I say this right? Uh, almost. Uh, it, was, almost. it was a good try. <laughs> right, so I'm really excited to do this interview with you. And today we're going to go take a walk around the lake and also go binge at your favorite restaurant. That sounds great. Okay, let's do okay. this. Living near the sea, and I heard your um, favorite city in U.S. is San Diego, which is nearby the bay. Um, you must be more of a beach guy than a river guy, lake guy. Yeah, I mean, uh, so my family's from Arizona, mm -hmm. uh, which is not far from California mm -hmm. and San Diego. So I love being out there. It's a very relaxed mm -hmm. uh, mood, you can say. I lived in New York for a couple of years. It's a whole different scene there with, uh, you know, not, I wouldn't say stressing, but people doing things 24-7. So it's a whole different vibe. Okay. Well, you like traveling to new cities on your days off, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, what cities have you been to? I mean, obviously I've been to many or every single uh, K-League team we've mm -hmm. I've visited. Uh, but Busan is not too far away. Very, very nice city. I call it the, the Miami of Korea. Oh. Because they got the some, beach? yeah, the beach and they got some nice high rises next to the water and stuff. And then uh, Seoul, obviously I visited. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, those are like the main spots. And also Jeju. Last year Jeju. I went with, with Richard, if you know him from last yes. year. Um, and we, uh, we spent a couple of days there in the summertime, which was nice. It was expensive though. It Very is, expensive. It is. Yeah, is yeah. It's a tourist site? Exactly. Right. Which one was the latest that you've been to? Um, Busan last week. Mm. I brought a friend. He came from Norway and he was here for about two weeks and we went to Busan for, uh, for a little time. There's actually a Norwegian cafe there. Oh, really? Yeah. What do they sell? They sell Norwegian food. Food so, and coffee? So I go oh. there uh, to eat sometimes and it's really good. He's, uh, it's a Korean guy who, uh, who just loves Norway. Oh. And um, I, I go there to visit him and, and try to help the business, of course. Right, the business. And also, which one was your favorite city to visit? Uh, and for Ulsan number one. But okay, after <laughs> that, uh, I, think, I think Busan for me. There's too much traffic in, uh, in oh. Seoul. What's your favorite Korean food? Uh, that's easy question. Uh, Korean barbecue. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully I've managed to persuade you to uh, join me for dinner there afterwards. Uh -huh. I know a great spot that Juho uh -huh. uh, on our team showed me. Mm -hmm. And I go there maybe once a week. Really? Yeah. That much? Yeah. But no, I, I love that spot. So Samjeon Korean barbecue. Uh -huh. That's my... Uh, I love that. And I know that you love Nutella as well. You used to have on every match, right? So, samjang or Nutella? Uh, samjang right now. I mean, I, every meal I have, I, I, uh, I bring samjang. And also, actually, I had the chef, who is a very nice chef on our team. Uh, he got me this huge bowl of samjang that I took with me home. So, I'm set right now for at least a couple of weeks. <laughs> um, I heard you can't really have octopus. Is that because of an allergy? Who told you that? <laughs> I read it somewhere. Yeah, no, I can, I can have it, but I just, I just don't. I prefer something else. So every time we have octopus uh, with the club, yeah. I, I stay away from that. It's uh, it's not my appetite. Even if it's steamed or cooked. Yeah, no octopus oh. whatsoever. Okay, have you tried? And this is classic because your name's mix coffee mix in Korea. 
Well, uh, what is coffee? In, like, uh, Insung on our team always calls me uh -huh. mixed coffee, uh -huh. but I have no idea why, because it just seems like it's coffee that's mixed. But I, what is mixed coffee? Mixed coffee is actually just coffee in a strip, so you just mix it with water and you drink it. Okay. But it's really sweet, so well, we'll I'll, show I'll you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, oh, we gotta say good job by the cameraman who's managed yeah. to maneuvering yes. backwards here. So about football, your jersey number went from 21, 42, 10, 42, and mm -hmm. then you kept 42 for Ulsan. So does 42 have a special meaning to you? 42, I had 21 when I was younger, and when I came to Rosenborg in Norway, mm -hmm. uh, 21 was already taken, so I doubled up to 42. Uh -huh. Oh. Exactly, and then my, my um, aunt and uncle in Arizona have a store, uh, mm -hmm. and it's called 42 Saints. Why is it called 42 Saints? Because there's a famous book called The Hitchhiker's Quest to the Galaxy. Oh. I don't know if you read it. No. Okay, but in the book, they say <laughs> the answer to life is the number 42. Oh. I don't know if it's a comedy book or what it is, but that's what they say, so... Some deep meaning there. Yeah, it's kind of... yeah, I guess so. And your jersey actually was one of the 10 best-selling jerseys in 2015. Did really? you not know? I did not know that. Oh, in, in MLS? Yes. Yeah, actually, yeah. I, I think maybe I heard that a while ago. That was pretty cool, though, because so there's were, many big yeah. names in, in MLS, a lot of good players, so that was cool. So how do you explain the popularity? Um. <laughs> I don't know. I just maybe I uh, I'm honest and uh, honest. give give what I can for myself. I don't know. It's uh, I'm a people person, so I like to connect with with uh, the people and the fans, of mm -hmm. course. So without them, uh, you know, soccer wouldn't be anywhere. It's it's all about the fans. Um, and when you were at New York City, you played alongside David Villa. Um, Andrea Pirlo and also what's his name? Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard. Yeah, yes. <laughs> what was that like? Uh, of course, the superstars, all of them. Mm. Great careers. David Villa now is in Japan. Mm. Um, just great guys and also football players who have you know the little extra. They have yeah. something. So you, it was it was awesome to train with them every single day and play games with them. Uh, Pirlo is a he loves golf and so do golf. I. So we went out for golf. Uh, Who's better? Uh, I hope he doesn't see this, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit better okay. at him right now. I'm sorry if you hear this. <laughs> There's no way to prove it though, like you can't prove it. Exactly. Um, so but, in... But he's a better football player than me. Mm, okay. So there you go, we'll give, it gets even. In 2014 FIFA World Cup, you made the squad of US men's national team, right? Mm -hmm. And you weren't really able to play a match, but nevertheless, what were you able to take home and kind of build upon? I mean, first of all, for me, just to be a part of the, the World Cup squad was, was huge because I wasn't expecting anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, I, when I found out from Klinsman that I was going to be going to the World Cup, it was, you know, a kid's childhood dream. And it's in Brazil as well, which is yeah. huge. Uh, I was one of the youngest players uh, on our team there. Mm -hmm. So How old were you? I think I was 22 at the time <gasps> or something. Okay. So, so for me, it was just... Uh, just crazy being on on that big stage. You know, you're used to watching the World Cup on TV, and then mm -hmm. suddenly you're you're, you're in, in there. It. Yeah. So no, it was it was awesome to see, and you see the whole USA come together, and everybody's just watching at pubs and bars in the states. And we had a lot of traveling fans to Brazil as well. So it was an amazing um, mm -hmm. opportunity and experience. You know, the atmosphere and how it feels. Was it just as you imagined? It's I. It's difficult to describe because <laughs> you're in a bubble because it's mm -hmm. training every day mm -hmm. and you're eating with a team and you're in the hotel so you don't really see what's going out on uh -huh. outside. But then you see videos and stuff on Instagram and whatnot and uh, you see really how big the World Cup is. And uh, every time there was a um, Brazil was playing a game, mm -hmm. you could hear it outside in the streets oh. that people were yelling and screaming if there was a goal. So that was pretty cool. Okay. Winter of 2014, you played against Korea men's national mm. team 2-0 two -two win. Congratulations, by the Thank way. You. And you were caught on camera exchanging uniforms with Park jong -woo, whom you said you already knew or were familiar with. How did you know him? Uh, no, that's because of uh, the celebration they did earlier and, um, you know, the whole... The whole situation around it. I'm not going to go too much into yeah. it, into detail, but I think all the Koreans know what it's about. So that was <laughs> it was cool. But we also uh, I played against uh, Minsu and also Guno mm -hmm. from from mm -hmm. our team, mm -hmm. 
in California. And uh, it, was, it was just weird to think about, you know, many years later I'm playing at the, same, playing at the same team with them. So fans call you Miksu, do you know why? Miksu, because in the um, Korean language alphabet, you can't really just spell mix, it has like a uh in the end. Is that incorrect? No, no, no. no. Someone's lied to me then. No. Okay, okay, tell okay. me. Okay, Miksu is actually mix, mix, your name, yeah. and Yesu, Jesus, in Korean, put oh. together. It's oh, because it? of your hair. I've actually heard that they, uh -huh. they call me Jesus sometimes, some of my teammates. It's funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, when I Google your name, uh -huh. all the pictures have long hair. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had a short haircut? Not since I was like 12 years old, but this is the shortest I've had uh -huh. in a long, long time. I had hair down to here for, for uh -huh. a long time. So why do you keep it long? Is there a reason or do you just like it? Oh, you don't like it? No, I you like it. it. I mean, it's hard to take care of all the split ends, uh -huh. all the styling in the morning. And you have right. to dry it. You're right. I think I may be a little, little trim soon, but uh, no, I'm just, I'm just used to it by now. It takes a long time to dry the hair though mm -hmm. when it's long, yeah. Can you tell us about how the name stuck with you? Um, so when I was younger, I played for uh, a team called Frigg mm -hmm. and two guys on the team were named Mikkel, myself and another guy. Mm -hmm. And because my mom used to call me Mix Master mm -hmm. when I was uh, running around in the house all the time, uh, then it became Mix because one had to have a nickname and I was younger. And then it just stuck with me kind of. So my teachers, my grandparents, all my friends just started to call me Mix from when I was eight, nine years old. So after that, it's just been Mix. Okay, so your mom gave you the name Mix, and your grandma also helped you train. She yeah. was a goalkeeper? She was, okay, that's, <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool that you know that. My grandmother was my first coach. Uh -huh. We were always, uh, after dinner, I wanted to go out and play soccer or football, and she, she joined me. She was maybe then 60, mm -hmm. 62 at the time, and she was always the goalie, and I was shooting. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit like frustrated sometimes because I wanted her to dive more after the oh, ball, even though it was asphalt <laughs> and she didn't do that. But uh, no, it was it was a good time and mm -hmm. she's very proud also that. Uh, Did she play? Or? She, she didn't, mm -hmm. but now at the age of, I'm not going to say her age, right? okay, <laughs> around 80-ish, yeah. she can still like uh, juggle the ball maybe 30, 40 <gasps> times. Really? Yeah. That's really good. It's more than me, so. Uh, I see where the talent is coming from, right? Exactly. There you go. Okay, and you have a huge, I mean, huge collection of hats. Oh, yeah. How many do you have? Wow. Maybe, <laughs> uh, I have maybe 100 New York Yankee caps. <gasps> and then, actually, when I moved to, to New York, um, the New Era, which is one mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. maybe the biggest hat company, this, yeah. they reached out to me and said, do you want to do a yeah. collaboration and make hats? So we made, like, a mixed logo. Yeah, yeah, mixed lids. Yeah, mixed lids. There you go. And uh, it's sold out at Yankee Stadium a couple times and stuff. Really? So yeah, it, uh, it was a lot of fun. So um, I went on Mixlets okay. and is it still running for business? They're all sold out right now. Oh, okay. So they don't make anymore. I will try to make an exception yeah. for you. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I might be making uh, more hats oh, again soon. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me know if okay, you do. Okay, definitely. And since everything is sold out, you didn't bring your hats to Korea. We prepared a little gift for you. Guess what it would be? cap yes really yes it's this one from gold.com's new sportswear oh and Thank unwrap you. it yeah wow. i like black hats That's you good. do yeah there we go yeah and at the back it has the little goal right there ah yes smart yeah do you mind if you put it on I could. the camera yeah let me ask you a question while i'm doing yes. this then okay so um, you're interviewing me yeah right now yeah. i'm interviewing you you Probably every show you do, you have a different jersey, right? Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean you're a fan of exactly that team. So what is your favorite team? My favorite? Oh, my God. And you have to answer I love now. all... No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not doing more interview if you don't answer this okay. question. Okay, my favorite team is Ulsan, obviously, because they're so good. with the, They have the little tiger. I mean, I love tiger. Tiger actually is the animal. Okay. National animal. Yeah. Okay. You got a big head, maybe. <laughs> no, no, no. The cap is really small. There we go. Yay, goal. Does it look good? Yeah. Maybe I'll score a goal next game yeah. since I'm wearing this now. Can I wear this it's while I play? Time. And now we talk the talk. 
walk the walk, exchange the gift,、mm-hmm. and now I'm starving. Okay, me and, too. Yeah, I heard your favorite restaurant is actually nearby. Yeah, it's nearby. not too far. Yeah.、Uh, I don't have a car though, so. Yeah, let's race there. All right. Ready? Go. All right. <laughs> Catch you, catch ya. Pieces, oh my god! Gold TV, 삼행시 남기고 손흥민 이재성 사인 국대 유니폼 받자. Superson, 손흥민. Superson, 이재성 공독자 오만 선물.